So hawk moths are um, a nocturnal or crepuscular flying moths. Crepuscular means that they fly at dusk or at dawn, so in very variable light environments. And um, they're called hawk moths because they're incredibly agile flyers. They have exhibited such a fine ability to navigate and maneuver in a challenging sensory environment. And actually in a ch using a challenging kind of locomotion, hovering in midair when you're this big is very, very difficult. And there's been a lot of curiosity about how animals are able to uh, adjust their visual systems in order to be able to see at low light levels. Um, but moth species, at least some species, have been shown to see color um, even all the way down to starlight levels. And so what we were setting out was to figure out, uh, was to test some hypotheses about how the moths might be adjusting their neural processing in order to be able to see um, incredibly well in low light. What are the trade-offs that it might experience? What are the costs to doing so? So what we did is we made um, robotic 3D printed flowers. So we used a 3D printer, we printed out flowers, filled them with nectar. We needed to supply a large amount of nectar so that the moth would feed from them for a while so we could characterize their flight performance over a period of time. And then we needed to be able to play in sort of complex motions into the flowers so that we could characterize the moth's response quickly and repeatedly to many types of movement all at once. The general lesson here is that the control systems of animals are exquisitely tuned to the environment and the behavior that the animal is trying to execute in that environment. And I think one of the big challenges now is to figure out how are the neural systems of animals and the mechanical systems of animals working together in order to enable this really sort of exquisite level of uh, adaptation and behavior that we see in the natural world. I think any engineered system that's relying on vision is going to also have to deal with these same kinds of challenges. How do you adjust to be able to see in low light levels? One of the strategies that this is suggesting is that you can then combine sort of this uh, slowing down of your processing, but you have to really couple it to the, both the dynamics of how you're moving or the mechanics of, the, of, your, of your flight system in this case, um, and to the, what the, your needs are for the specific task.